Hi everyone, welcome to today's session. I'm Kanika Kucheria from Tech Canvas. Tech Canvas is a renowned training organization which offers well-defined online and classroom courses on business analysts, test automation, and domain training programs. We have various videos on Tech Canvas YouTube channel as well. So today's topic for the video is behavior driven development. Let's have a quick look on today's agenda. First, we will understand the term BDD and what is not BDD. We will discuss the traditional approach and identify the issues around it. Then we will see how BDD can add value to the process. Later, we will talk on the advantages and tools to implement BDD framework. So let's kick start. So BDD stands for Behavior Driven Development. It is a collaborative technique or approach to discover the requirements. There is a cycle of continuous interaction among people which results in delivery of right software with desired features. Let's talk more in detail about BDD. It is all about collaboration and communication. Here, the main focus is on behavior of the software. What are the desired features to be built for the software? The three amigos play a critical part in BDD process implementation. On the right hand side, we have depicted the three amigos. First is the BA or the product owner who is close to the business. Second is the developer who can contribute his technical knowledge and tester who knows how to break the system. All three of them sit together and come out collaboratively on what needs to be implemented. Then they put down this in easy to understand language with no jargons used. In the market, BDD is often misinterpreted term. So let's see what is not BDD. BDD is not an automation testing technique. Automation acceptance testing is an outcome of BDD. It is also not Cucumber. Cucumber is just one of the frameworks which facilitates the implementation of BDD practice. BDD is also not just given when then statement. The key thing in BDD is collaboration and communication, where the team need to sit together and drill down the acceptance criteria of the product. It is not how we will write the test cases for a software, but all about the behavior of the software. Now, let's see the traditional development practice. Here, the stakeholder speaks to the business analyst and tells his business expectation. Then, business analyst or the product owner alone puts down his understanding on a requirement document and then communicate this on email to the team. Developer and tester then independently start their work using that requirement document. They have their own interpretation of the business needs. And last, when the software is delivered, it deviates from the required business needs. And thus, the stakeholder is not quite happy. So the major problem here in the traditional development practice is that all the teams work in their own silos. There is no brainstorming session where all of them sit together and discuss or communicate. Developers, testers are merely assigned some work which they translate as per their understanding. Now let's have a look on the BDD practice. Stakeholder expresses his business expectation. Then BA, the developer and testers collaboratively sit on a three amigo workshop. Each of them asks questions like why, what, when, around the business requirements. Then they come out with the user stories, which have actionable acceptance criteria. 
These scenarios are then structured in given when then format in simple language. So this is what is called as feature file. This feature file contains all the scenarios clearly written in it with all the conditions around it. They can have a cycle of iterations if any doubts are there in understanding of the business requirement. Then the developer starts developing the codes in lines of that document. In the same lines, Tester also starts building his automation testing framework. A constant feedback is given to the business analyst over this as to what all is achieved. When he approves all is done correctly, then the software is delivered. This software now meets all the business needs. And so the stakeholders are now quite happy. So here we saw all are involved from the initial stage and nobody works in their own silo. Now let's talk about how we implement PDD framework. Business stakeholder identify a business requirement, then a user story is created out of it. Then the three amigos together discuss and define the acceptance criteria. This is then put down in a structured way in given when then format, which is called as a feature file. Using this feature file, blue code is written to define the step definition. This is then executed over the application. So, so finally, the outcome is the executable living documentation. So on a click of a button, we can say whether the scenarios are executed correctly or not. That is the red or green light reports are generated. This living documentation is readable and understandable even to the non-technical people. So we talked about the feature file. Let's see it in detail. On the left hand side, we have defined what is feature file. It is a file which describes what is desirable in the software. It is well structured and written in easy to understand language. The sections of the feature file are the feature then the scenarios. In each scenario section, we have given and when then sections. Each scenario is a tangible business situation. In the sections given when then, in given we define some precondition and and where we define any other conditions also associated with the scenario. In when section, we define whatever action need to be executed by the user and then specifies the expected result. On the right hand side, we have a sample feature file with the feature is to purchase a movie ticket. So the scenario would be book a movie ticket for the customer. So given the movie is released and the tickets are available when customer pays the money. So the action is when the customer is paying the money for that ticket, then we need to book the ticket for the customer. So this is how a scenario is captured in a feature file. Now let's see the outcomes of BDD approach. If we righteously follow the BDD practice, the outcome is the living documentation. The living documentation is executable and readable to the wider audience. The very important outcome of BDD is that we develop the right software, which is very close to the business needs. And so the stakeholders are quite happy. QA, development team and other teams are involved right from the start. So there's a lot of scope of brainstorming and also innovation. We can have good ideas coming from the QA and development team as well, apart from the business team. In market, there are different tools or frameworks available for BDD implementation. Kumba, JBehave, Specflow are the ones which are widely used in the market. We will talk about them in our next video. Tech Canvas offers BDD course with Cucumber where you learn 
more in detail about Cucumber and how we can implement BDD using Cucumber. We have live online training courses as well as the self-paced training courses. So you can contact us for more details. Thanks for watching. Keep tuned for more videos on Tech Canvas. Thank you.